Hi, blessings everyone. This is Yanni, the only luckologist, along with King of the Eyebrows. <laughs> Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> All right. So, um, we are posting to let you all know we are coming to Georgia, all right? Um, but before I start that, so to tell you all the dates you'll be in Georgia for new clients to start a book, I'd like to wish my husband happy anniversary. High five. Happy anniversary, sweetie. Yeah, we give high fives for anniversaries. High five. We don't. <laughs> we'll be making babies later. But anyway. <laughs> I forgive me for a minute. Um, food stuck in my teeth. We just had a, a anniversary breakfast, which I I I I paid for with my Lost money. the lightning coming. Right, I paid for with my money. I treated. Here come the lightning. I treated Jimmy. You have me looking up now. I treated Jimmy to a, a anniversary breakfast. If you see anything stuck in my teeth, forgive me. Anything fly off my mouth. But anyway, when the lightning hit. That's me, bro. <laughs> anyway, so we are coming to Georgia to bless crowns. Um, so let me tell you the dates we'll be working first. And yes, you can start taking booking. We'll, you can start calling to make your bookings if you are a new client and you've never seen us before. You can start calling once you see this video. So we will be only blessing crowns in Georgia. We are not taking bookings for Jersey clients because we work in cycles for the new people. For the people still calling, even though my voicemail said, do not leave any voicemails right which i'm going to change this afternoon this is how we work we work every three months in both locations all right good we are only taking bookings for our georgia location right now so when you call if you've never seen me before jimmy and i and you finally want to book an appointment call speak your name and your telephone number clearly please so i can if i don't hear it clearly i would not know who to call back i have a very old model phone that I do business on. The phone I'm filming this on is not my it's not my business phone. Okay? So speak your name. Hi, this is James. I didn't even need a last name. This is James. My number is five six bum 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 bum. So I can write it down and I can return your call. We'll be working from July the 15th through yeah, I'm in the phone. Thank you, sweetums. From July 15th through July 30th. There you go. Alright? July 15th through the 30th. Do not, I repeat, do not send me a text if you've never met us before to book an appointment. I will ignore that. I have trust issues. In fact, if you've never met somebody, whether you're booking a doctor's appointment or whatever, why would you text? You want to call and get a feel for that person. You understand? That's how I feel about when people are leaving text messages. The same way you need to get a feel for me to make sure we are a good fit is that I want to get a feel for you before I book that appointment. So leave your voicemail. Do not send me any emails. That will be ignored also. I don't even read my emails. I can't remember the password to that shit. Ouch. All right? Do not leave any emails. It just has to be a normal voicemail. Do not be weird and creepy. Something about getting Graves' disease made me know, like, serious, it's actually, that's not a joke, it's a real symptom where I get, like, not just agitated, but, like, I, I get nervous really fast. I get um, anxiety. Anybody who has Graves' disease and hypothyroid, they will tell you what I'm saying is true. So when I realized that somebody is blowing up my phone a million times, where all they needed to do is call maybe just once, twice tops, and leave a voicemail, and I'll call you back, and they're blowing up my phone... I start creeping out and then my heart starts racing and starts to dream. It makes me very tired. And that's because for the people who miss what I just said, I've been diagnosed with Graves' disease. So it takes a toll on me. Do not be weird and creepy. Do not freak me out. Just call. Leave one voicemail. Telephone number. Speak the reason for your call and I will call you back. Okay? We are only working for from the 15th to the 30th. I forget how much days is that. I think it's 15 or 16 days. All right? I can no longer do three weeks like I did before. Again, I'm getting too old for this. When we are packed up, that means I cannot take any more bookings. So if you see I didn't return your call, it's because it's because we were packed. I can't overpack. I can't overbook. We only work from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. The weekends are completely booked up because my regular clients started booking since last week. They get first dips and picking the amazing time slots. So time slots are very limited. Remember. I do not do extensions. It has to be organic locks. And your locks has to be at least a year old. Now, here's the good news. I almost forgot that. All the people who've been wanting us to start locks, you guys remember when I did that video with my niece? Um, what was that? Three months ago? My sister and my mother actually starts locks. In fact, 
those of you who know me from back in the day saw my mother's style that girl's locks with the thick thick beautiful locks right they're already in georgia and they were the ones who told me you know with their clients when their locks started we'll do it we'll be only do let me do calendar again sweetums certain days you'll be starting locks not me they were going to start your locks for you the days that they will be starting locks for clients who want to start locks you have to have a full head of hair not half your hair <laughs> you know it does have your hair all your hair in your head good from the 24th actually not from the 24th and the 25th is when my mother or my sister or and my sister for the people who want their locks started the organic way now remember we do not start locks with comb coil twists. There's a lot of amazing lock tissues who can do that the, if you want that neat look, right? You guys saw my niece. You guys have seen me done videos with people who started locks with two strand or, uh, uh, or box braids. That's how we started. We don't start with a comb coil and the gel and all of that, all right? I just don't start locks because I'm a lazy person with certain things. So that's something I just don't have the patience for, okay? But they're really good at it. So if you want, when you book, and you have that nice, beautiful afro, and you're ready to start your lock journey the organic, natural way, you can mention that in your voicemail. If you want the comb coil with the gel and it's all neat and slick down, it's your money, it is your prerogative, especially in Georgia. They are a lot, in fact, I'm gonna, I can refer you to amazing lock -ticians who can start your locks that way, okay? But you can decide what you want when you call us. All right, um, am I missing anything? Oh, remember, I don't do children's here. Sorry, guys, we're outside. I'm just enjoying the day after having a very fulling breakfast. Um, so, remember, I don't do children's here if they're the age. You see how, like, this eyebrow look like I hardly have eyebrows, Jimmy? Why am I even asking you? Nothing. Why are you going off topics to your eyebrow? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm looking at the video and I'm realizing, I'm watching the two young ladies walk down the street and like the light is hitting my eyebrows. All right, guys, so we're going to start back posting video. <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, we've been doing a lot of running around and all of that buying supplies. In fact, I'm about to go get my nails done for us to hit the road in a couple of um, days. Um, what was I saying? Sorry. Not the working. Oh, yeah, I think I told them everything. Yeah, so we're excited to see you guys. Excited, for, excited, sorry, for the amazing energy. Oh, I have tons of videos that you guys haven't seen it. I just needed to take a break from that too. Social media could, could just <laughs> suck your essence out. Sometimes you just have to unplug everything and take a break. Not only that, Jimmy and I own two other LLC companies. That's really the real reason. We own two other LLC companies and... Um, when we take these breaks, it's because we are diligently working on that, all right? Um, I always believe people need to just look at other things to, to get involved in. Don't, don't be stuck in a box. As much as I love doing here, I also love being a business owner. So does Jimmy. Some of your clients know what we've been working on, all right? And I'm going to share that very soon. So we also work on our other two LLC companies. But I have tons of videos I'm going to share with you guys, a lot of content. Um, amazing content coming up at the end of the year, God willing, that I'm working on with a, an amazing producer. Hi, Adonis. I didn't let the cat out of the bag. All right. So, um, yeah. So, I'm excited to see you guys. Sorry for all the rambling. It's a beautiful day today. You know, um, the last few days, I just put this out there. As I was saying earlier, for those of you that know that, you know, you never know what somebody's going through. And I don't know why some God is putting in my spirit to tell somebody this if they're listening, if they get to the end of this video, that whatever you're going through, stay strong. The last couple of days have been really hard. I um, I am claiming that I'm going into remission with Graves' disease and hyperthyroid. And there are some days I'm on the top of the world, I feel amazing. And some days I'm, my Graves' disease come with, which I've never had before, it comes with the most horrible, horrible depression like I'm telling you the type of depression where I don't want to live I'm not suicidal but I don't want to live I just want to go to sleep and die and like if you met me in person you will know I am not like that that's when I knew it acts up up until three days ago I was very close to canceling Georgia it's not about the money it's, I love my clients I love all of my clients I love meeting people the laughter the shenanigans if you met us you know the only thing I'm really psychotic about is time I would okay 
trip when somebody's late for my appointment. But other than that, I am the most easygoing, funny, talk shit beyond person. And up until three days ago, I wasn't even that. I was telling Jimmy, like, I just want to die. I don't want to live anymore. And that's because at the time, the grace is my hands started shaking again. I can't breathe properly. If I just move, I can't. That's what it does. That's how it affects me. Mind you, I'm going into remission. So my body is still fighting. I'm down to the lowest dose of medication. 2.5 of the... Um, of the thyroid medication there's only one medication for um graves disease and hyperthyroid i'm down to the lowest form and the doctor's like you're in great health you're going into remission and then why sometimes i feel like this that's why my voice is sounding a little shaky i'm saying this to say every time i think of giving up and i know it's this medical condition causing it because this is not how i am i've been doing this for many years you guys see every now and then i post one of my clients from back in the day before jimmy and y'all hear this like, nah, that is Nayani. It had to be because she's not feeling well. And it, it's a struggle. It is, I, I feel for the people who have this condition or have any type of autoimmune disease, whether it's myasthenia graphis, whether it's rheumatoid arthritis, whether it's Hashimoto's disease, Graves' disease, um, lupus, MS, not even the, any disease, and you're packed with medication. I'm taking one pill and it's annoying the crap out of me. And I just putting this out there, like, don't give up. Like, today is my anniversary. Three days ago, I wanted to choke Jimmy out. And it was nothing he was doing. That's what, and I'm not like that. We don't argue. We don't, you know, clients have asked that. We all argue, like, and that's like I fart on his leg or something. And he's not like that's an argument. <laughs> what? I was farting on his leg. I'll be honest. Married people, married people do shit like that, right? Who <laughs> like you want me part of? But anyway, you know, it, don't judge people. Everybody's going through something. Don't think that you. That's why I'm mindful about what I post. I don't post a lot of personal stuff of myself on my personal Facebook page to make myself always seem like I'm happy. That's who this from the truth. And since I've been since I've been diagnosed with this, it has taken a toll on my mental state. I'm not used to being sick, and I don't consider myself sick, right? For those of you fighting something. Even if you're fighting natural depression, do not give up. I said this before. You, you know, I, I came close to canceling. That's why it took so long to post when I'm coming to Georgia. Because I really was, I didn't even tell Jimmy that. I just kept saying I'm tired, I'm tired. Because it also makes you feel tired. Every morning you wake up is because whoever you believe in, whether it's Buddha, Jesus, God, Allah, Whoever, for us, Orishas and the Egun, which is, which is the ancestors, is because they have a plan for you, right? If you give up now, you would not see the plan come into fruition, right? And that's what I've learned the past few days. I even spoke, finally spoke, to, I haven't speak, spoken to my mother for over two weeks. She didn't even know I was going through this. I said, Mom, I was so depressed. And for no reason other than a medical condition. A lot of us, of fighting something just i'm sorry for rambling on on this whoever got to the end of this video this message is for you i know some days you want to cry then cry some days you want to scream then scream but stay fighting because every day we are alive to fight is when we tell the enemy that you're a liar i am meant for more you understand so that being said again we are coming to Georgia. We'll be there from the 15th until the 30th. I'm excited to see some new clients. I'll try to fit in as much as I could. I genuinely love what I do because every time I think of giving up, I, um, I have a great memory. If you met me in person, again, you'll know this. I have a ridiculous memory. I remember every client, new and old, that I've met and everything we've been through. And I, that's the love I've had from my clients who always still check on me. Jersey clients, Georgia clients, I appreciate all of you, you know. And I, I just, I'm blessed to do this, you know, I'm blessed with Jimmy standing with me. Not most men would have been like, fuck this shit, I'm out. Like, and I'm not even a moody person. That's the crazy thing. I'm not, you know, some people are just moody. One minute they're happy. This is me, loud, cussy, yanni. This is me all the time. 
right? So it's when he does see me depressed and sad, he's looking at it like, what is this? Because that's not who I am. I'm the person that think like anything come my way, we can handle it. That's how I'm thinking all the time. So when I move from just being, hey, let's go handle this, you know, put God first, you know, God is in charge, that kind of positive thinking manifests and all of that to, uh, I wish I'd die right, like seriously, and that's how I was talking the last few days. Um, if you all had seen it, if you all had been flies in the wall, you'd be like, nah, that can't be Yanni. It's real. Okay, um, stay fighting, you know, don't give up. Jimmy's eyebrows make me sick with that perfect curve. I was running out of the house this morning. I forget to paint on some eyebrows, but his eyebrows are constantly taunting me. <laughs> yeah. And, um, don't look at the fucking camera. They're going to see it more. Go look at your phone. That's... <laughs> you ever want to snap? <laughs> I'm sorry guys, you just have been fun. I think I'll do more videos like this in the car. If you all want to see more videos of my thoughts, which I have a lot stuck in my head, let me know. Alright, I love you guys. Again, just to wrap it up, call if you want to see us. Speak your name and telephone number clearly. Do not text me or send me an email or I will, not or, I promise you I will ignore it. For the people who have texted me and never got a message, this is why. Because I specifically said do not text me, okay? For the, for the regular clients, if you're watching this and you're booking for Georgia, it's only Georgia, not Jersey, Jersey, I'm going to post when we start by taking bookings for Jersey, okay? Right now, Georgia is who we are dealing with on the 15th through the 30th, which is next week, Thursday, okay? Only Georgia clients. Um, for the regulars, if you did not get that text message from me, which you guys always get, don't think I pass you on purpose. Sometimes there's a lot of names. I may miss a couple of you, but feel free. You all know how to reach me. That's for the regular clients. If you've never met me before, leave your name and your telephone number. Speak clearly. And um, give a brief, a brief description. <laughs> that word was hard to pronounce. A brief description. That dress look good in her. You go, girl. It's yeah. ready. You have like that. I know. I have it as a dash key. She has it as uh, a dress. Mm -hmm. We parked in a car watching people. Yeah. Y'all ever did that? Like go to the mall or just sit somewhere and people watch? I used to love that back in the day. Just, it's a very common thing to do. Let's do it. Go somewhere and just people watch. Get some ice cream, get a, some glass of um, a, some water, a bottle of water, sorry, not a glass, a bottle of water, something, and just people watch. It's, it's an amazing thing to do. So anywho, let's go. We have to go meet our contractor to see what he's doing with the house. And um, I'm excited to see you guys. Love you all. Sorry for this long ass video, but again, sweetums, happy anniversary and thanks for putting up happy with anniversary, mm -hmm. And thanks for putting up with my shenanigans. <laughs> There's so much shenanigans. It's a lot. The parting on the leg is not the only one. It's it's the nose picking and the flicking it on him and the dog is it's just I'm, I got a lot of issues and um <laughs> this poor man didn't know what he was signing up for. Like, he didn't know I wear them gross. Like, I just... <laughs> but I'm not Yanni, the locologist. I'm somebody else. I, I, yeah, I... Yeah, there's, there's a lot of mental shit going on. <laughs> All right, let's go get my nails done. And, um, and, um, yeah. See you guys in. I need to get some sun. You see how... Look at that. At least I don't have them ashy elbows. Oh, nice and I hate that when you're doing stuff and you see an ash back. You can peel the ash. Look at this. Damn, I really need some sun. Told you guys I don't go nowhere. This is the first time in February we came outside. We don't go nowhere. All right.